What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lane and I'm a nurse and nurse practitioner student. And in this video, I am going to be talking about why I chose to go into the family nurse practitioner specialty versus other specialties. Because I know a lot of you might be wondering which specialty you should choose for yourself. And though I can't make that decision for you, I can at least let you know what I'm thinking and why I chose the program that I am in. All right, guys, let's get started with today's video. Alrighty, guys, so one of the first reasons that I chose to go into an FNP program was because you get to take care of patients across the lifespan. So versus other specialties, you might have to choose adults or peds, but for the FNP program, you actually get to take care of patients from cradle to grave. Um, and so I really wanted to do that. I really wanted to work with families, be more in the community with um, the patients and try to make more of an impact there. Um, another thing was that I wanted to be in the outpatient setting. And I know some of you also are feeling this way, but I'm kind of over the inpatient world for a while. Um, and I really knew that I wanted to be in outpatient setting ultimately and not in such a acute setting. Um, I like the fact that you can kind of sit there with the patients and help manage more of their chronic conditions. Um, and you can really get to know your patients across the lifespan, again, like I said, um, and really just have a long-term impact on them in the outpatient setting. And like I kind of said before, help in communities is really important to me because I do believe that primary care impacts the community more directly than inpatient care because through primary care offices, through outpatient settings as an FNP, um, I can lead more of community change, even though I won't be like a public health professional, I'm still able to assist like with nonprofits, help craft um, community events, community programs. Um, if there's something going on in a population that um, is very specific to their population, like I can help with creating interventions to help those patients and help their communities and help their families. Um, and I'm very much someone who, who wants to have an impact on the community. And I think that global change really does start uh, in your backyard. So I really wanna be a part of that and I'm hoping that I can do that in the family nurse practitioner specialty. I also knew that I wanted to be on the preventative side of healthcare. I know in the inpatient world, we're reactive and we are trying to clean up whatever mess was, was being formed before the patient came to the hospital. But I like preventative medicine and I like health promotion. Um, so I like that in primary care, I can actually educate my patients um, before they get sick, before they develop habits, or if they're developing you know, a unhealthy, non-evidence-based lifestyle habit, I can work with them practically to show them the evidence behind it and also to tailor interventions to their life because it's, it's one thing to tell someone like, hey, like you need to you need to lose weight. But it's another thing if that person's like, okay, yeah, I know that, but how practically can I do that? And I like that in primary care, we can talk about small lifestyle modifications that can help the patient in the long term. Like, okay, maybe let's try parking your car a little far away, further away from whatever building you um, are trying to enter into. Or like, let's start with 10 minutes of walking a day. Like, I like that we can create plans with our patients and it doesn't have to be overnight change. Um, and it's working with the patient, working with their individual cult culture and lifestyle. Um, I like how that all gets integrated into the healthcare that is primary care in the outpatient world. And of course, I really like the marketability of the FNP degree. I like that if I change my mind and I wanna go more heavy into adults later on or more heavy into peds or more heavy, heavily into another type of specialty, it's a little easier to do with an FNP degree um, to try to find jobs at this point. Um, and of course, I would still need to go back to school for certain things that I would wanna do. Like if I wanted to do psych and P, I probably would need to go back to school to get that degree. But I just felt like there was more marketability um, with the FNP degree because I do see see a, a wide range of patient populations um, and I'm young and you never know where life might take you so I wanted to have um, as many opportunities open to me depending on 
what might happen in the future and if I need to change careers or change settings or something like that. All right, guys, so that is just a brief summary of why I ended up choosing the FNP degree. Um, I know it's not for everybody, depending on what you're interested in, but I think I found the right specialty for me, and I hope that this kind of educated anyone who's just wondering about the FNP degree, still debating which specialty they should go into. Um, but definitely comment below if you have more specific questions about the FNP degree. I would love to answer them in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a like and a thumbs up and to subscribe because I'll be sharing more of my FNP school journey. So you can also see more about that. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.